and go from there. So here's how it's going to work, okay? Friday, I'm playing both games. But what modes I play is going to be determined by this poll. So, for example, if Resident Evil 8 Winter's Story DLC remains at, ahead of the multiplayer, we're doing that on one of the streams. And then whatever is ahead between the campaign and the multiplayer of Modern Warfare 2 will be the other stream. Now, what order? Well, I'm just going to do it based off a of percent of votes. So, right now, Modern Warfare 2 is getting more votes. So, I would say Modern Warfare 2 would be the game that we play on the first stream. And then we do the Resident Evil 8 DLC on the late stream. Okay? And then what we'll do is on Saturday, we'll either continue on or we'll do more. You know, we'll see. But it's going to be two days nonstop of those games. Okay? So there you go. That's what you guys have voted for. If you haven't voted yet, you can still vote. That poll is going to be running all week. You vote on the main channel page of DSP Gaming under the community tab. Be found right below. Please vote. Do not miss out on voting. Please vote. Make your voice heard. Isn't it funny? I touch my face. Look what happens. Oh, my head itches. I scratch it. Now there's a giant welt on my head. Because I scratched my head. Isn't that nice? This is what, what it means to have sensitive skin. It sucks. Having sensitive skin is the absolute worst. I wouldn't wish it on anyone. I really wouldn't. You get every blah 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 so, that's the schedule for the week. It'll be very exciting playing the two new games. And then after a couple of days of the non-stop new games, there will be one final stream to adjourn. Uh, Sunday what, Night Bites on do? Sunday night. It'll be the final ever Sunday Night Bites stream. Hope you guys will join me for that if you can. Um, and go from there, okay? All right. Um, cool. Now, the one major thing I have to talk here. about before we get the shout-outs is a follow-up on yesterday. If you remember yesterday, I made a big announcement video. I'm looking to be interviewed by someone. It could be a very candid interview. But essentially what I want to do is for the first time ever have the ability to publicly defend myself against all of these allegations that people have thrown at me, all right, over the years. Because we're not talking, this is how you don't play. This is how you don't play is publicly documented that I sucked at games and made bad gameplay videos back in the day. We're not talking about my embarrassing O-Face moment from 2016 that's well documented. Everyone knows it happened. I fessed up to it. I We're talking about Hogan's the dick. insane conspiracy theory bullshit that people have fabricated and made up based on little nuggets of truth but extrapolated into these giant balls of bullshit all over the internet. I'm tired of them. I'm tired of basically having big YouTube channels do countdown videos and including me in their fucking countdowns and then literally quoting every detractor mean that's not true as if it's fact. I'm done with it. I'm literally done with it. I'm not, I, I, I'm just not going to allow people to keep passing misinformation around and not hearing my side of the story. I'm done with it. All right. It's bullshit. So I want to be interviewed by someone who's going to treat me fairly who's going to ask me questions about all this bullshit that's happened, and I can answer them very fairly, all right? Um, now, I announced this publicly yesterday. A few things have happened. Immediately, I started getting emails and offers from people all over the planet. Like, it was crazy. Like I, oh, I'm, you know, I live in Eastern Europe, and uh, I never made a YouTube video before, but I'd like to interview you. I'm not even kidding. I'm not, I didn't make that up. I got an email. You know, he's like, oh, I, I, I don't speak English that well, but I'd like to interview you. I was like, the point of me getting interviewed is as follows. All right. I would like to have an opportunity to at least give my side of the story, because right now what everyone's getting is a one sided, biased, untrue narrative because I don't. Well, here's the thing. I have responded to the crap. I have. But when, where do I respond to it? What the hell are you talking right about? Right? On my channel. Out of all the people out there who regurgitate the negative memes about me, the detractor shit, right? How many of them actually pay attention to my responses on this channel? Zero. Not one of those people who talks about me negatively out there in a YouTube video or a countdown or whatever it may be comes to me. No one has said, Phil, what's your statement? What's your response? What's your rebuttal? Instead, they just roll with the toxic shit people say and don't vet it. They just, oh, well, everyone else said it. I might as well say it, too. Get my clickbait, right? And I'm tired of it. I really am. I'm absolutely tired of these, these people 
millions of subscribers, <laughs> they get millions of views on your videos, shitting on me with no repercussion. It's bullshit. If you're going to say one thing, you have to at least give the other perspective to it. You can't just present one-sided negative perspective. But it's a delivery. And I forget the difference. But it's one or the other. All right? And essentially, YouTube allows this because they allow people to just post up unvetted bullshit. It should be illegal. All right? So, I've had enough of it. Okay? And I want to be able to express my side of the story and, and, you know, in response to all this bullshit that's going on, all right? Because I feel at least, at very least, maybe, that'll get me in the public eye, at least in a semi-positive way. Maybe someone would say, all right, you know what? That was his side. Now we know both sides. Don't know who to believe, but maybe I'll give his content a shot and see what's going on. And I guarantee you, people who actually just tune into the streams and watch the content would be blown away. They're like, wait a minute. So this guy isn't just someone who's constantly an e-begging scammer. Wait a minute, this guy actually has meaningful gameplay and fun interactions with his audience. Wait a minute, those chill streams are really fun, right? So they would understand that if they would come check it out instead of just believing what all these idiots say. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that pisses me off. It really does. It genuinely, honestly, pisses me off that people just get away with it and there's no, no none of my side of anything. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of it. I'm tired of everything being one-sided. Um, they said, Phil, you know, we contribute to you, but it always seems like it's a black hole. I don't see because it always all. seems like no matter how much we contribute, you see you're always still having problems. You're always still in debt and, and nothing's getting better. I agree with you. Oh, Nightbot timed him out. Nightbot no, 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 timed out one of the messages no, 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 for no, no, emotes. No, 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 no. That's the last one I see. Let's see. Yeah, Nightbot timed him out. So he must have said something that Nightbot got upset about. It wasn't a moderator. But I'm trying to find exactly what he said. Give her a pill, and that's it. Because oh. you're just going to waste our time again. He, I think he stupidly said... Yeah, dude, 672, you probably said one of the... Uh, you said a detractor name or something. And probably the bot picked it up and kicked you out. That's my guess. But he's back anyway. Alright, anyway. So anyway, I want the opportunity... Uh... I want the opportunity to oh, try. Oh, here we go. Now he's talking about WWE my side champions. Of the story on so all this crap that's been going on. You piece of donkey okay. shit. Um, How about this? I don't feel like I've gotten given this? a fair shake or a fair, WWE a fair chance champions. by the internet at all. all right. Everyone just wants to regurgitate the WWE negative shit, the champions. negative memes, and not actually rent say, well, free okay, what's your, your motherfucking head? Involved? Right? I don't like, think about step WWE two. champions. Step one, you do. Thing. Step two, you probably know way more about the fucking game than I ever will. No, skip You're an idiot. Go right to step three and slander the person on the internet. Oh, okay personal gain for you. I get it, right? So, here's the deal. I made my video yesterday, and in the video I stated two things. I need someone to either DM me on, on Twitter or email me. So, here's what's happened in the last 24 hours. No exaggeration, I probably received dozens of offers from people who essentially don't have any kind of YouTube presence whatsoever, okay? Really. So if you're um, going to be an asshole, you're going to be treated like an asshole. You're going to be shown the door. <laughs> the whole point of me wanting to be interviewed is to have a public audience. What do I do? Ah! Ah! Aha! Oh!
Welcome to the Level 1 Podcast Part 2 for Monday the 24th of October 2022. Yes, as if we didn't have enough issues going on today with my life already, the microphone malfunctioned. I'm very So I had to restart confused. the entire setup and now you guys can hear me again. Okay. <clears throat> Let's try this again, shall we? So, yesterday I made my announcement to the internet. I want to be interviewed by someone who has reach and someone who... When I talk to them, basically we'll be able to give my side of the story to a new public audience that it doesn't <laughs> oh my God, get. Because everyone joking. just gets the negative. No one gets my take. I seriously. All right. <laughs> there you go. Can I stop joking today? So, oh my God. first thing, I get, I'm not even exaggerating, dozens. Uh, uh, dozens of what the f- emails from people who have absolutely <laughs> uh, no uh, internet following whatsoever. They admit I'm a small time guy where I don't I even swear. make videos. Uh, I have no experience uh, interviewing. Uh, some of them do have Jesus experience Christ. interviewing. But basically don't have any kind of uh, clout or following. Uh, so uh, okay, it's actually starting to feel visibility. better. Uh, Listen, uh, I appreciate people who are saying, I feel that if I were to interview you, I would give you a fair shake, and that's why you want to go with me. I get that, but there's no point in doing that if it's someone who's actually smaller than me. Like, if, if, if the interview would get no attention, I might as well talk to my wall right here, right? And it would be just as effective. So this is not me. In any way, shape, or form, downplaying or down talking smaller time YouTubers, smaller time content creators, or journalists at all, I'm saying the whole point here is that I'm supposed to be trying to talk to people who are going to give me an audience I've never had before so that people at least say, okay, there are two sides to a story. It's enough of just repeating the one. Okay? Fair enough? All right? By the way, here's a troll. Let's get rid of this idiot. It's not even a troll of me. It's a troll of someone else, which is really messed up. You shouldn't be trolling people on my stream when it's not even the, I'm not even the person you're trolling. At least have the respect to troll the person whose stream you're on. Okay? <laughs> Fair enough. Or, or disrespect, All right. but at least be pertinent, right? Anyway, um, let's continue. Jeez, what an idiot. Um, so, first of all, <clears throat> apologies... To anyone who did contact me in the last 24 hours, but basically just doesn't have an audience. Uh, that's not the point of me doing the interview. The, the point is that I would get my side out there to an audience. Okay. Now, basically the people who I expected to contact me did. Rich from Review Tech USA. I guess Keemstar, although Keemstar did not contact me directly, but tweeted a bunch about me, I guess. Um, you know, that kind of stuff. My detractors contacted me, and I just want to be honest with you here. I want you to think think of something logically, because here's the thing: what I've been telling you guys for years, okay? The people who spend all this time hating on me, researching private things about my life that have nothing to do with my content or my streams, and trying to essentially air those out on the internet to hurt me, okay? These people. Basically, there's no point in ever speaking to them because with those kind of people, you're never going to win them over. Whenever you say one thing, they say something else. They, it's called moving the goalpost. You know what I'm saying? Like if I literally went on an interview with one of those people, okay, and they said, okay, here's all the <laughs> negative things we've said about you over the years. And I actually had supreme concrete evidence to disprove every single piece of everything that they say. Okay, one of two things would happen, likely both. The first thing would be that wouldn't be enough for them anyway. They'd have 10 other new things to bring up out of nowhere. Literally, like out of nowhere, you know, it's like, huh? But that's how they are. It's called moving the goalposts. No matter what you say or do, it's never good enough. Because here's the thing. Here's the true thing about it. They benefit off of my misery. Okay, they are misery brokers. The only reason these people have uh, any kind of attention or clout on the internet is because they stalk me and make fun of me and try to ruin my life. If that didn't happen, they have nothing to do. They're not pertinent. They disappear. They go away overnight. All right? They're afraid. They are genuinely afraid that they wouldn't have something to talk about. So to them, it doesn't matter what I say, do, or disprove. They're always going to have something new to, to bring up or make up because that's exactly what they're doing. They're just based off of people's misery, so keep keep making them miserable, right? That's number one. Number two, and here's really the key factor in all of this. If they ask a question and I have concrete evidence to disprove what they're saying, 
What's going to happen if that evidence now leads to something else that they're not supposed it's to none of anyone's business. could be damaging to me or my family? Like, for, for example, I'm going to give you a perfect example of something. It's one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. All right? I'm not kidding you. One of my detractors emailed me last night and said, I'm the one you need to convince. You don't need to convince anyone but us because if you convince the detractors, then we'll, we'll basically do a 180 or whatever. It's a lie. It's a blatant lie because you can't convince these people anyway. But basically, here's what they said. I'm not kidding you. A detractor wrote me an email, and this is what the email said. Show me your bank statements from a couple of years ago to disprove all the slander on the internet about people saying you spend money on this and this and this. They actually want me to show you my real bank statement. That would be proof for them. Okay? Let me think about this for a second. You want me to show you the bank that I do business with, likely information in that that's going to be personally harmful to me, okay? Because if you know where I shop, if you know where I go, if you know what I'm spending money on, if you know, maybe probably give the bank account number, if you get any of this personal information, any of that could be used to hurt me or slander me further, okay? I've had identity, identity theft happen to me. All right, where someone impersonated me multiple times trying to spend my money, trying to rack up my accounts, trying to do things that are fucked up. At one point I, last year, I had no money because my account ended up getting frozen for fraud and I didn't have money for about a month and I was really struggling and I was behind on everything. It fucked me over, you know, and this was a time when I was trying to recover from leaving Twitch, coming to YouTube and be a full time YouTuber. And then they did that to me. All right. So now let me get this straight. You want me to actually show you my financial information as if nothing could possibly go wrong with that. Like, again, anyone with a brain in their fucking head would be like, what are you, insane? Who would do that? No one's that dumb. They're that dumb. They Isn't actually think that like I would do it. that. Like, I'm going to show up with bank statements to show you what I spend money on and sh it, you know, reveal the businesses I do business with and reveal my, the company who I have a bank account with. Like, they're out of their fucking minds. Who would do that? Who would be that dumb? That's what they want. That's the evidence they want. Why do you think they want that Wait evidence? Wait a minute. Because then, Hold up even everything. if my evidence disproves what they've been saying, they'll have more to work with. That's how they operate. All right? So I can outright tell any of you detractors out there who are dying for this interview. this is really going to help. Are, are you dumb? I want to take your feel. Did you I don't care. What, what do I do? Watch me. What, what do I do?
Wh what do I do? What do I do? Just what? What do I do? Watch. Multiple. What? What do I do? What do I do? Enter. What, what do I do? He's from people. Inc what, what do I do? Including. What, what do I do? What do I do? Mr. Wings. What do I do? Every day. In Jordy Jordan. What, what do I do? And how he he were soulmates. Now this shocks me. I love Hulk Hogan's dick. I want to take your profile. Are you going to just complain all night? Just leave then. It's rising to a toxicity. What? The What do I do? I want to take you for a 
to take the front field. Give attention. To his detractors. I live rent free in their heads 24 fucking 7. Oh. Words. on their podcast. He would be.
exactly the polar opposite. You want to do Wait. You don't want to talk. 